Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of your three course thesis sequence. Uh, this particular course, EDL 690, is entitled Educational Research Seminar. Um, I want to spend a few minutes going through the syllabus here so we don't have to spend as much time in class on it. I will provide an opportunity in class to um, highlight some of the specific things as well as to answer any specific questions, but uh, we have a little bit of a an odd first class, if you will, because we will actually be having one of the candidates who ha is applying for a position in the Educational Leadership Program um, speaking to the class for the first half hour or so. Um, so, and then we've really got to dive into the content. So, I'm going to try to cover as much as I can here in the syllabus presentation, and then that way we can sort of dive right into the content once that initial material is covered. Um, during Friday's class, or the first Friday's class, I should say. So as you can see in the syllabus here, I'll mention a couple of things. Um, first of all, you'll note um, this notice here um, that, you know, the course syllabus, while I will try to keep to it as much as possible, uh, there is always the possibility that I will need to deviate from it. I will be honest with you, as most of you know, um, and as I mentioned in the last class, um, I'm leaving Sacred Heart University at the end of this year in, in August, and I'm currently uh, in interviewing for other positions. Uh, depending upon when those interviews have been scheduled, I've been thus far able to schedule them during the breaks, so the few weeks we had off leading up to the holiday break, and then actually the couple of weeks leading up to the beginning of this class. However, there is a chance that I may need to schedule some of them while we have a class scheduled, so we may need to um, deviate from the schedule a bit, either moving things a week back or moving things a week ahead. In all likelihood, it would probably be moving things a week back. Um, so while the number of times we meet will be the same, and while I do hope to be able to keep the specific dates that are listed in this syllabus the same, there may be a need to change those. Um, so moving on, as you can see, the um, contact information is the same from last semester. So uh, as you've been able to get a hold of me for the past um, four months, uh, or four and a half months, I guess now, you can continue to get a hold of me those ways. Our class meets on Fridays from 4.30 to 8.30. Note that it is actually a four-hour long class, uh, not a three, and the reason we do that is because we um, are meeting less, and it allows us to cover the specific content in each of those plan to be in class until approximately 8.30 most of those evenings while we may end a little bit early. Um, my experience has been at least with the 690 as opposed to the 691 that we will likely spend most of the time there. Uh, we are meeting in 211 Oakview uh, so I believe it's not the computer lab like last semester it's just down the hall if I remember correctly. Um, so looking at the course description, uh, the rationale, the objectives, I'd encourage you to read through those. And if you have any questions about those, uh, feel free to ask me when we get to class or to email me prior to that. I will point out objective number six. Uh, the research proposal uh, within the thesis and dissertation context, a research proposal is considered essentially the first three chapters of your thesis or your dissertation. So chapters 1, 2, and 3 form the research proposal. So by the end of this class, you will actually have a research proposal completed. So you'll have the first three chapters of your thesis written. Um, talks a little bit more about, and this is the same language that you would have seen in 689, looking at the three course sequence and how the courses fit together uh, with each other. You'll note that uh, there are two texts for this. One is the Fink textbook from the last course, so it's not another book you'd have to buy. It's the course that you should have had from the previous semester. So the only new course or new text that you have to buy uh, this semester is this Creswell book that you see right here, um, Educational Research, Planning, Conducting, and Evaluating Quantitative and Qualitative Research. It has been ordered through the bookstore, although I will be honest and say that it is likely cheaper to get on Amazon. You'll note that this is the fourth edition that I've recommended, uh, which is the 2012 edition. I believe there may be a fifth edition out. Um, in all honesty, if you get the third edition or later, so third, fourth, or beyond, 
you should be okay. Um, the first and second editions are both quite dated and the content in there is a little more limiting than what you find in the third and fourth editions. So I'd stay away from the first and second editions, uh, but feel free to use the third edition if you can find that for cheap. So moving along, um, looking at the evaluation, you'll note that essentially what you've got is you will do a piece of your chapter three to the, until we get essentially chapter three done and then you'll submit all of chapter three then we'll go back to chapter one and you'll submit that together so um, you'll note that essentially within chapter three the first section is going to be a, a paragraph that looks at the research purpose and questions and then a section that looks at the methodology and we'll talk about this during the first class um, the second section that you'll have in there or at least the second section that we'll do initially is a data collection and methods section and we'll talk about that and go over that in the second class during the third class we'll look at the data analysis methods and we'll go through how that section is going to look. Um, the next one is the actual research proposal. So there's going to be a couple of things between when you do your um, analysis methods and when the actual research proposal is due. And then there's the activities that we've had similar to the previous class and you'll find that they'll be the same in this class as well. And also when we get to 691 you'll see that uh, item that's there as well. Um, the research proposal I'll talk a little bit about during the first class but it'll really be during the fourth and particularly the fifth classes that I spend most of our time on it. Um, so looking through the assignment notes and the course policies, these are all fairly standard. They would be the same ones that we would have had in 689. Um, I will mention a couple of things. If you uh, do have any particular special needs, um, you want to make sure that you contact our um, Office of Special Learning Services and at the... Um, um, the Learning Center over there and um, I'm more than happy to work with you and, and the Learning Center to come up with any accommodations that you need. Uh, also be sure to look at um, both the integrity policy as well as the um, plagiarism policy that I've got in there but again these are the same ones uh, that we would have had in 689. Looking specifically at the schedule um, the first class will meet on Friday the 22nd, um, at least that's our initial plan. We are looking at um, having uh, Clark, um, which is one that you would have read in 689, so I'd like you to go back and review that one. As well, you'll note that there are seven chapters, sorry, eight chapters in Creswell that I'd like you to look through. Those are the chapters that focus specifically upon methodology. Um, what I'd recommend is that you sort of skim through those eight chapters, so don't necessarily read through them closely, but skim through those eight chapters so you can get a gist about the different types of methodologies that are talked about in that particular one and then after class on the 22nd you'll figure out what methodology you want to focus upon for your particular thesis study and then I would recommend that you read that particular chapter very carefully. Um, similarly for the second class which is right now scheduled for the 5th of February um, there are two chapters for that one it's a quantitative and a qualitative methods uh, data collection methods chapters and um, again, I would ask you to sort of, you know, skim through that one for that class because once we have the class, you'll figure out what methods you want to use and you can focus specifically upon those methods. You'll note that at that second class, which is two weeks after the first, is when your research purpose, your research questions, and that methodology section are going to be due. Um, the third class is scheduled for the 19th where we're going to be looking at data analysis methods and again skim through those cha two chapters of Creswell that will give you a reasonable background in data analysis methods and then essentially during class you'll figure out which ones you want to focus upon. Note that your data collection methods section will be due that class which was two weeks after the second class. Um, Two weeks later, on the 4th of March, we have um, another class, our fourth class. There are a couple of readings there. There's a reading that you'll find in Blackboard uh, that looks at reliability and validity, and as well, Chapter 9 in Cresswell, which looks at reliability, validity, sampling, and subjectivity. As well, that class, that's when your data analysis methods section is due. 
And uh, while you'll get grades on each of these, and you'll note I believe each of those were worth 15% in your overall grade, essentially they are like first but fairly good drafts of what will become most of your chapter 3. And then you'll note that during our fifth class, which right now is scheduled for April 1st, which is about four weeks after our fourth class, um, what we're looking at there is we're really going to focus upon the chapter one content as well. We'll preview a little bit about, you know, actually doing your study because I'm hoping that really by that point in time, even though your research proposal hasn't been submitted, that you'll be submitting a complete draft of chapter three, your methodology chapter to me that night and hopefully maybe even before April 1st. And once I sign off on your Chapter 3, you can start your study. Uh, so the sooner you get that Chapter 3 done, the quicker you can begin collecting data. So the other thing we're going to talk about during that fifth class is we're going to talk a little bit about essentially how to actually implement your study. And then the last day of classes is the 22nd of April. So that will be when your complete research proposal is due, which essentially is your Chapters 1, 2, and 3. I mentioned Chapter chapter 2 in there because that's something that you should be continuing to review throughout the course of um, 690. What I would recommend is that once every week or two you go into Google Scholar and some of the other databases that you were looking at and just do a quick search on some of the terms that you found useful in your initial literature review to see essentially if there's anything new that's been published or that is coming up higher in the searches so that it's being brought to your attention that wasn't there before to see if there's anything new that you need to include in your particular um, chapter two in your literature review. Also this will give you an opportunity to continue to develop some of the parts of your uh, chapter two that may have, might have been acceptable for the purposes of finishing 689 but still need needed um, some work or still needed things to be addressed in as you were working your way through this. Um, the syllabus finishes as all should, uh, at least here at Sacred Heart, with a bibliography. So these are a list of resources related to conducting educational research that should be useful for you. So you know, as you are going through, particularly working on Chapter 3, these are particular things that you might want to start looking at, um, maybe checking out of our library or seeing if you uh, have access to them through other sources because these are going to be useful resources for you as you are completing particularly chapter 3 to a lesser extent chapters 1 and 2 but in particular chapter 3. Um, so that's it for the syllabus if you have any questions feel free to email me before class or come to class with those questions in mind although I'm hoping to be able to um, really just sort of deal with questions related to the syllabus and not have to spend a great deal of time on the syllabus during class because I really want to get into that methodology content.